can't believe that another year's gone by and uh, we're here again at the Paddington Art Prize. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for coming again. I'd also like to thank all the artists that participate each year. Um, it means a great deal to my mother and myself that the prize is held so dearly in the art community. I'd also like to thank the judges um, who this year have excelled themselves. Um, the works here are magnificent and uh, so many different styles um, of people um, with their interpretations of the Australian landscape and what it means to them. So, I'd like to acknowledge the Bedigal people who are the traditional custodians of this land. I'd also like to pay my respects to their elders past and present and to expect, extend their respect to the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders who are here tonight. It's a privilege tonight to have Tony Costa here to open the prize for us. Tony completed postgraduate studies at City Art Institute in 1988. He was selected to participate in the Triangle Artist Workshop in New York. He is the Archibald Prize winner for 2019 and was an Archibald Prize finalist in 2018, 2017 and 2015. Tony's art practice spans portraiture and landscape painting. And he's bloody good at both. <laughs> he was a finalist in the Wynn, Sulman and Dougal Prize for Drawing at the Art Gallery of New South Wales. He's also a finalist in the Doug Moran Prize, the Florial Biennale, the Gilgore Portrait Prize, and the Newcastle Art Gallery. He was the winner of the, art, of the Paddington Art Prize for Landscape Painting in 2014. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, uh, Chris. That's, uh, I can't wait to hear what I'm going to say. That's quite interesting to me. Um, hello everyone, and uh, it's such a pleasure and an honour to be asked to open the 15th Paddington Art Prize. Sorry, 16th. Um, painting is a powerful medium. It's not just stories, but it's a non-verbal language, a visual conversation that the viewer has with the work. Paintings have the potential to touch many parts of the brain, and in doing so, you reach out and shake hands with it. Every painting teaches you a way of seeing in the school of perception, even if it doesn't set out to do that. Paintings nudge you to consider another way of seeing, and that's the miracle of art. The question every artist has to ask themselves is, what am I gonna make paintings about? And looking around this room, I have no doubt that that question has been answered loud and clear. Whenever I'm asked, my answer is always the same, paint what you love. In this exhibition, there is no dominant style, but a rich diversity of interpretations. There are abstract paintings, figurative and expressive works, alongside more dreamlike and uh, humorous ones. Perhaps technology has played a part, but nothing can replace the human hand. So painting is here to stay, and that's the good news. Uh, how lucky we are as landscape artists to be living in Australia an ancient continent full of drama, silence, vastness, and extraordinary beauty. We have it all. Prizes have such a fascinating place in Australia, and we would be much poorer without them. The Paddington Art Prize is no exception. Being selected as a finalist is exciting, but becoming the recipient of an art prize is an honor. Prize money matters too, because it eliminates the strain that, uh, that lack of finance is placed on the artist. Art gives expression to everything invisible inside of us, but our prizes make the invisible artist visible. Each year, hundreds of artists express their ideas, and each year, hundreds of people come to see this exhibition. It's a wonderful platform for any artist to gain the attention of a much wider audience. Tonight, we celebrate art and acts of kindness. Giving has the transformative potential to change people's lives. Marlene Antico has done that for 16 years. So thank you, Marlene, and all those associated. Uh, and, and for your continued passion and support. Art is created to be shared, and what a better way to see paintings in the context of other artists working in contemporary Australia today. Congratulations to all the finalists and the other artists who have entered. Art prizes remain one of the last opportunities to express our egalitarian spirit 
which is so much part of the Australian character. Keep doing the thing that only you can do with conviction and determination. Thank you all, enjoy the paintings, and I now I'll declare the exhibition open. Tony, thank you. Thank you very much for opening the prize. Uh, okay, Marlene's speech. Good evening, distinguished ladies and gentlemen and guests. Welcome to the Paddington Art Prize 2019, now in its 16th year. Many thanks to Rod Menzies and Menzies Art Brands for allowing us once again to use these fantastic premises. I know everyone will agree the venue here at Kensington is second to none, and we are all very thankful to Rod who has made it available for such an amazing and diverse exhibition of national finalists this year. A special welcome to the wonderful and generous judges, Margaret Ellis, Governor of the Art Gallery of New South Wales, Denise Mamucci, Senior Curator of the Australian Art at Art Gallery of New South Wales, and Dr Oliver Watts, Head Curator at Art Bank. This evening I would wish to take the opportunity to thank everyone for their help and continued support. Especially many thanks, Marlon. Thanks, Marlon. <laughs> and the enthusiastic support of my sister Pia. And my brother John Paul. And over the years Rochelle Chase for her friendship and for volunteering her time. But the prize wouldn't have the, you know, the, we wouldn't have got all this done without the amazing help of Susie Sierra over the years, who's um, always been there to do all the all the tough stuff. Yeah. Um, the careful approach to all aspects of Patrick Dar Prize reflect Marlene's and mine, and I'm so grateful to her for her support. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to Andrew Trelaw, who has been with us for the past two years, and this year is just you know, fantastic. Um, Andrew helped hang the show, curate the show, answer phones, sell paintings, get the new banners, be here at Bandy Exhibition. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> to, all of, to all the sponsors of the additional non acquisitive prizes, to Professor Ross Harley, Dean, and Michael Kempson, Master Printmaker from the University of New South Wales. Art and Design. To Teresa Sargent for her generosity in the People's Choice Award from Fine Art Imaging. Thanks to my niece Louisa Antico for her Savala Cottage Prize. To Tracy D for her floral work each year. To Lucio Galetto OAM and his family for hosting the PAP annual lunch every year. And this year we are fortunate enough to have. Uh, that's a number. We are fortunate enough. to have, again, for the second year running the Defiance Prize. And thanks to Campbell Robinson Swan and Lauren Harvey. Mm -hmm. And I'll talk more about their prize uh, and people who are involved in that prize. Last but not least, my sincere thanks to all the participating and painting artists who supported the prize with their entries. Without your entries, the prize would not be possible. And this year, the standard was unbelievable. And I know this with the judges this year, generally, um, you know, each year there's three judges and they usually come in pretty close and we can line them all up and say, oh, well, they all voted for this artist, this artist. But this year, they were all so different. And it was like, wow, it took days. But once they came in and they saw the works hanging on the wall in the flesh, they were all unanimous with their choices. So good luck tonight for all the artists. Sponsored by Louisa Antico. And the artist is Joe Frost. With his wonderful, with his wonderful work, Raoul Garden. Print prize. 
and that goes to Black Douglas. Yeah. And, his, and his great painting, The Word is Enough for the Wise. We're moving on now to the highly commended prize, which is a thousand dollar prize, and the artist is Bronte Layton Dawn. The shadows are in front of goes to Joe Blundell, Renewal Corner, Warrigal. <laughs> Joe Blundell. Um, have you got your ID? <laughs> it's a good excuse. Now, before we go to the winner of the Patrick Nardwise 2019, we are going to call on uh, Campbell Robinson Swan and Lauren Harvey for the Defiance Gallery Prize. Uh, thank you, Chris. Um, first of all, congratulations to all of the finalists many um, who are here this evening. The entries were of a really high standard this year. It was great to go through them. There were lots of worthy contenders for the Defiance Gallery Award. Um, we are about to open the exhibition for the 2018 recipients of the Defiance Award. That was given to Andre Bowen and Michelle Hungerford. Um, and that is at the Paddington Gallery we have at Mary Place. They had a fabulous time at the Knock Art Foundation residency in Queenstown, New Zealand, and it really shows in the works. Um, the opening is this Sunday between 11 and 2, and you are all very welcome. Okay. Um, now, it's pretty complicated lineup for the Defiance Prize. It's Art Van Gogh Transport sponsors, Art, Art Tech Installations, Noyce Brothers Wines, Stephen Austin Brief Photography, Art Profile Magazine, Pigment Lab Art Supplies, and the Knock Foundation, which is three weeks in residency, airs paid, accommodation. Look, it's a real knockout, the place is fantastic. And, and Views like you can believe. So, um, the winners from the Defiance. Yeah. <laughs> we should have read it before. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> the winners of the Defiance Gallery Award for 2019 are Wilhelmina Valari. <laughs> And the second recipient is Eunice Napanenka Jack. Thank you very much, Lauren. And congratulations to those others. Okay. The 2019 the winner of the Paddington Art Prize is Belinda Street with her painting Yellow Box Gully. Continued support of artists. It's a 
um, very much needed. And I know the arts community are very grateful for the opportunities that you provide. Thank you to the judges. It's um, exciting and it's reassuring to know that my painting resonated with you. And I must say that this is a much needed boost to my artistic self-esteem. This, um, this is a really massive surprise. A great one, but a massive one. Um, I've entered the Paddington Art Prize on and off for the last 15 years. And um, until tonight, I'd actually never been selected as a finalist. Thank you everyone for coming.